Welcome back to FN TV. I'm Steve Saunders and I'm joined by Andrew De La Torre from Oracle and Shalish Gupta from Rakuten Mobile. Oracle and Rakuten are partnering to use cloud infrastructure and services to support and monetize Rakuten Mobile's operations and service offerings. Uh, Shalish, let me come to you first. What are some of the factors that are driving your success, uh, particularly with mobile subscriber growth? And also, if you can share, what are some of the challenges? So uh, Rakuten Group uh, decided to enter into the mobile space six years back, mm. where we feel that we can do a disruptive uh, in this market in more meaningful way, especially from the cost perspective. So as a Rakuten, as a group, we challenge the entire ecosystem, legacy system, to make this entire mobile ecosystem in a new era. So we decided a three key pillar strategy. One is a open LAN, second is a cloud native architecture, and third is we want to have a complete automation, zero touch provisioning, and efficient operations in our network to ensure our cost is reduced and we pass that discount to our customers. So today, successfully at Rakuten Mobile, we uh, announced our EBITDA positive in December 2024, wow. and we have crossed 8.5 million subscribers in Japan successfully. Wow, congratulations, that's fantastic. So, and congratulations to Oracle. I mean, at Oracle, we've always been focused on actually creating what we call best of breed products in the network. So, um, you know, we're very selective in terms of what we do and what we choose to actually productize. And in 5G, we've really zeroed in on the areas where you can really construct the services and the offers that are associated with, um, you know, the market opportunities. Um, so, uh, you know, you're quite right. We also, you know, have done a very good job in terms of how we've really oriented towards cloud native and how we're using that technology. Um, and from a charging perspective, you know, um, we're very pleased to have uh, Rakuten as a partner with our, our policy and charging, which is really making a difference. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, Shilish, um, are you done? With the network, it's it's ready to go. You don't have to do anything, or are you planning to make any changes? So, How do you so, see it evolving? So never, never stops. So it has to be continuous effort. Mm. So uh, uh, we have implemented the live network with Oracle jointly with Oracle, but it will enhance the network continuously. So we have to develop a new services, 5G advanced use cases, along with Oracle on which we are working, to ensure that we have a new revenue stream in our network. Mm. And can you can you talk a little bit about that, Andrew? Where do you see the money coming from? Because that's key for all carriers now is uh, they need to uh, find new ways to engage with consumers in particular that they're prepared to pay for. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think Rakuten's a really good sort of poster child for the fact that not only have they broken into a very established market and they're playing that role as challenger, um, which in itself like requires a lot of agility to be able to come up with competitive offers that are different from what you know the established mm -hmm. operators are delivering. But you know, you're also looking to the future of how do we move beyond consumer and how do we get into the enterprise space and in particular this kind of next generation of industrial applications that we're very focused on as Oracle. Industry 4.0. Absolutely. So you think yeah. that that's where the growth is going to come from? I don't, you know, I, I don't think we should turn our back on the consumer market mm. because that's the mainstay of this entire industry. Um, but absolutely, you need to find somewhere where you're going to get that extra top line enhancement, right? And that's the place to go. Okay, that's yeah. fantastic. And that, that matches up with uh, where I see things going because it's such a telecoms, a $2 trillion market globally and just heavy industry is uh, 35 trillion, so there's obviously a lot of money. It, that's important for you at Rakuten, Shalesh. Uh, are there particular industries that you think are going to be interested in this? So as a Rakuten, our key objective is we have to be cloud native. Mm. So uh, I'm happy that Oracle supported us to uh, move our policy and charging system to cloud native platform. It was a mammoth exercise which we done with the Oracle. Day and night team was working, their product was very stable. Their team helped us to uh, enable our policy and char charging on the cloud native platform. Now it's a time to use this system to generate a new revenue using new services. So we are working on the slicing type of use cases with Oracle, real time charging use cases with Oracle to enhance our revenue. And if I can pick up Shailesh's thread, I think this, this idea of cloud native is really core, cool, right? Because it, it's really at the center of being able to drive full automation in the network, which is what's required for you to have a real digital interaction with your customer base. Now, in this instance, the customers are changing. The customers are becoming industrial applications. And so if you look at you know, where Oracle's going from an industry perspective, we got a lot of focus on public safety, on healthcare, 
on energy, on Good. water and utilities. And, you know, if you go to the booth, you can actually see stuff. But, um, you know, actually, that's uh, Oracle was one of the first companies to identify the vertical industry opportunity. I mean, you've had your website set up like that for about 10 years. So yeah. very interesting. Thank you, Shilesh from Rakuten, which is having a, a big success, just turned profitability uh, into a thing after eight and a half million subscribers That's in Japan. Good. And Andrew, always a pleasure to hear from Oracle as well. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Steve.